this, uh, this, this person, um, this person, we, I'm going to call him Mr. M, okay? But the, the, mur the, um, the person who was accused of the murder was, uh, I'm going to call L, and he was quite an interesting man, L. He was a former drug addict, and he had actually worked for Jamie Oliver and at Blenheim Palace as well at one time, so I don't know how that worked. But he, he and his partner, who's Miss B, she was 35, he was 34, they were found to have murdered their housemate, Mr. M, at their home in Smethwick. And then L stole his benefit payments afterwards as well by using his a benefit card, apparently. And what happened was, when, the, when they were arrested, um, this chap L, he said that Mr. M had attacked him when, because he told him to leave the house. And that he died after, fo after he'd fallen from the floor. He'd punched him and he fell to the floor and unfortunately he died. So he admitted that he killed him, but he said it was an accident. Um, and he said, he, said, um, he said then he'd taken the foolish decision to cut the body up and dump it in the nearby canal. And he said, he told the court, he said, we were previously a good team. We worked together. I had a lot of respect for him. I looked up to him. And he also said he had an anxiety disorder and he hadn't thought very clearly about what he's doing, what he was doing. Now, of course, QCs are very clever people and they are inclined to be quite sharp. And I, I love the wording that was used by the QC. He said to him, you had a lot of respect for a man you murdered and then tossed his body in a canal. You couldn't have severed that man's head with his own saw if you had an atom of respect for him. You're not someone crippled by anxiety at all. You are a perfectly composed, manipulative man who tried to deceive the jury into believing your account. You destroyed Mr. M's body, not out of panic, but out of necessity. You cut him apart so that we would be deprived of knowing how he had, made his de how he had met his death. So he, he admitted it. But the girlfriend is interesting, Miss B. She said, I'm 100% innocent. But she agreed that she'd sat on the bed whilst L had cut the body up and tried to burn it. <laughs> and then she'd helped him take it to the canal. And she said she was frightened of him, but, but unfortunately, her word, she loved him. Um, she told him in a jail letter, and the wording here is really extraordinary, she, this is, she told the accused murderer, you're a good man, I love the bones off you. Um, <laughs> and she knew what he'd done, she knew what he'd done. And the QC pointed out that a body was chopped up in her house, which needed cleaning, carpets burning, clothes being disposed of, with the place ending up in such a mess that a shoulder joint was left lying on the carpet after the rest of the body was dumped in the canal. And Miss B maintained that she never saw any of this. To which the QC responded, you don't see very much or hear very much, do you? And she replied, I wouldn't want to hear or see anything like that. Now, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go through all of this, but I, I do want to give you one final comment from the QC. And he said, the only reason you stayed in that room was because you were helping. It took two of you to put this person in that suitcase and clean up the mess that made. And Miss B said, no, I didn't. And the QC then said, if Miss B's account was true, there was no way she would have slept that night in the room where Mr. B was dismembered. And Miss B said, I didn't sleep. And I suppose perhaps we can take some comfort from that. Um, now, uh, there's the... There's the canal. I just want to show you this little bit. If you just watch the top right-hand corner, this is CCTV footage. There you can see the two of them with the suitcase heading for the canal. And uh, in a minute, you'll see them coming back. And if your eyes are really sharp, you'll see them coming back without the two suitcases. So anyway, they got... He got life, I can't remember what she got, but uh, it's, uh, it was a nasty case.